Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amalgamash, and this is Game Night. Gaming in the Night, made by Finico, using the Smile Game Builder engine and Unity for the WebGL post-processing. You can play this game in your browser. I'll leave a link in the description below. I like that rousing intro. This was made for the I can't write but want to tell a story game jam. Oh. Now that is interesting. Ugh. That was a rough fall. I guess I'll have to find another way across the canyon. This... I've never seen this before. Would you like to save? Sure. I love the music. I love the music. It reads, This way to the mausoleum of wandering souls. That seems ominous. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Hey! I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Okay, good. Unless, you know, you might not be monsters. Are you monsters? You are monsters. Oh no, I'm getting hurt. I don't want to get hurt. Did I get hurt badly? Ah, crap. X, there we go. Yes, I did. I lost two hit points. Jeez. I did not get hurt badly, but I lost two hit points. Uh, yes. The mausoleum of wandering souls. Inside lie the answers you seek. Well, that wasn't helpful, but I don't see anywhere else I can go. Alright, creepy cave temple it is. Hey honey, have you seen my purse? Oh, never mind, your sister found it. Don't forget to do your homework, okay? We'll be back in a few hours. Love you! Interesting. Do I need to... Do I need to click on the choice? You say I love you too and turn off the game. Okay, bye sweetie. Is it too late? Oh. You don't acknowledge that you heard. Go away, pop up. You don't acknowledge that you heard. You continue playing. Is it because that I couldn't go across that bridge? I could never make that choice to begin with? I tried. I tried. What's over here before I... Nothing's over here. Yeah. No, I wanted to be nice. I wanted to do the nice thing. Oh, what an experience. There is no turning back. You can only trust the path you chose. To live is to keep wandering. To linger is death. Okay, so we actually have simple, simple real-time combat. Oh, interesting. He gone. He gone. Let me go beat up the other monsters. Oh, I doubt that I can now. Forget it. Just forget it. Yeah. The clock reads 7 p.m. It feels like your parents just left. But it's already been an hour. You feel your stomach drop a little. You decide to stop playing at 8. You start to mentally prepare to do your homework. Or, you won't enjoy your free time if you get distracted. You'll be done playing when you are satisfied. You just want to finish this dungeon. Oh. I just want to finish this dungeon. Then I'll be alright. The clock reads 8.30. Your cheeks get a little flush as you realize how fast the time has gone by. Can you really beat the dungeon and finish your homework tonight? It took me 30 minutes to go through that door. 
you grate your teeth in anger. You hate you hate that you haven't done your homework again. Maybe something is wrong with you. Anyway, you just want to finish this dungeon. Or you think for a moment about the worst thing that could happen. You'll be a tad tired tomorrow. It's just one night, and you won't make a habit of it. You'll stop at nine. That's what I'll, that, that's what I'll pick. That's the one I'll pick. Right? Does not seem to work. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that opens that side up quite easily. It doesn't seem like that side can open up at all. Aw, oh, man. Well, then I guess I'll just finish this one dungeon and then I'll go to bed. You, the clock reads 9. You can't believe you've been playing this long again. Your heart rate elevates as you think about how stupid you must be. How can you never focus to save your life? You definitely won't be able to finish your homework assignment tonight at this point. I can't even read. Oh god. Get a failing grade tomorrow and not have beaten this stupid dungeon. Whatever's going on, I will be better. Whatever's going on, I'm going to win. I'm going to do the right thing. I thought he wasn't going to fall. Either, whatever, he'll just keep playing. It's not like you'd get a good grade anyway. Now that you're all upset, if you stop now, you'd feel bad doing a hard assignment, get a failing grade tomorrow, and not have beaten the stupid dungeon. Or, you ease your breathing and take a second to calm down. It's just a grade, it's not the end of the world. You just need to remember how you feel right now next time you want to avoid doing your homework. You can learn to be better. You've really messed up now. It's 10 o'clock. There goes the day. You consider unplugging the console and throwing it out the window. <laughs> then your ire turns inward. You know the real problem is you. Worthless. <sighs> okay guys, what choice? Biting back tears, you try to ground yourself. You aren't the first kid to stay up late playing video games. Your life isn't ruined, even if your night is. You can just find another save point and get to bed soon. Or, it doesn't matter, you aren't special and you won't be successful. You already know this. Caring about shit like homework will only disappoint you in the long run. Run, just finish the dungeon, then you can go to bed happy. The path ahead may be fraught, and rage may be the easiest solution. But every time you break something else, you are slowly breaking yourself. Give up your weapon, wanderer. Do you give up your sword? You place your sword in the hands of the statue. Nearby, a door opens. This is deep. The social commentary is immediate. I tell you, before I go on anymore, Finico made dream stories. And that game was very sweet and charming. And this is haunting. But I think that we have made the right choice. 
I think that we have made some mistakes, but at the end of the day, we have figured out how we can improve. You deserve this. Ah, a save point. After a long night of wandering like this is the end for now. Hey honey, do you have practice after school tomorrow? Oh, you haven't moved. Did you do your homework, honey? Sigh. I don't know what to do about you. You keep doing this. I try to be patient, but you need to take some effing responsibility for yourself. I'm too talk tired to talk about this right now. I'm sorry, I lost my temper. Some idiot bumped into our car on the way home. I guess I'm still shook up. You have so much promise, honey. You could do anything. Please, please be better. This is where you will always end up. You aren't capable of anything else. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. An endless maze of wasted mornings melting into sleepless nights, lost in places that aren't real and soon forgotten. No. I ain't gotta take it. This is the first time you've done this. You aren't in control of yourself. That's why you always fuck everything up. No. You are wrong. Nobody else has these problems. Lots of people have these problems. That's why your parents are always so frustrated with you. Everyone else is whole. You are missing something essential. That's because my parents don't know those other kids' lives. At every turn, you made the indulgent choice. You sunk deeper and deeper into your gluttonous stupor. You take the easy way out because you know that if you try, you fail. You don't want to see if you have it in you. You know you don't have anything in you. Should I have a trigger warning at the beginning of the video? And now you're stuck here, wandering forever. Stuck between panic, rage, and sadness. Your focus darting from your flushed cheeks, to your pounding heart, to your dry throat. Then back to me. The game you had to play. Or the movie you had to watch. The book to read. The desk to clean, the thing keeping you from doing the work you need to do. You want a dungeon speed? Foes to slay? Here, take them. Enough to drown you. An endless sea of tiny, meaningless distractions. It's the only thing big enough to fill that vacuous hole in your worthless mind. You first. Bat. Beat you all. No. This isn't what I wanted. You're right. This isn't what I wanted at all. Don't fight those guys. We don't need that. We don't need that. Go to the door. You can't go back. You're wrong. You can always go back. Can't you? What am I doing wrong? Why can't I focus? Why can't I be good? Look, dude. I did my best, I tried my hardest, what did I get? I don't even have a sword to fight back with. I'm helpless. Look, dude, you've got a bird on your head. Couldn't ask for anything better. How am I supposed to be normal? How can I be okay like everyone else is? I'd give anything to be normal. I'd give anything to stop hating myself. Did I hate myself this whole time? That's pretty sad. If my sister was having the trouble I'm having, would I hate her? If my friends couldn't finish their homework, would I stop liking them? No, I wouldn't. 
That wouldn't be fair. When I can't do something a certain way, and then call myself bad or dumb or stupid, am I fighting imaginary battles instead of real ones? I'm always telling myself there are things I have to do, but I've never asked why I have to do them. I have to do my homework without trouble, or I'm dumb. I have to be able to keep distractions in my room, or I'm impulsive. I have to beat this game tonight or I won't feel happy. Why well, I don't have to do any of that. This dungeon can only hold me if I believe that it's real. Sit. The dragon of... I don't know. This was it, huh? This was what was so important? This is what I just had to see tonight? <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna be nicer to myself when I make mistakes. That's the ticket. That's the key. When I feel bad, I'm going to ask why I feel bad. Yeah, we could all benefit from that. When I feel bad, I'm going to ask Oh, like focus on my homework with this game in my room. I'll remember that have to is as imaginary as this monster. Maybe I'll take a break from video games during the week, or keep my console in another room when I need to focus. Whatever I do, I'll probably mess up sometimes. I might even feel like this again some days. I hope those days I can remember this moment, when instead of battling an imaginary dragon, I decided to do something harder. Today, I decided to... Turning off the game? Unplug the game and forgive yourself. The end. Well, now it's revealed in the lower left corner of the screen. I have a certain resolution that I that I screen capture, and I didn't get the entire screen. There's a little bit of cutoff, but only just a little bit. There's nothing important that way besides. That does say the end. This was created by Finico. He was the programmer. This was created by Finico. They were the programmer, Rob was the story writer, and Mikey was the composer. Uh, the three of you did an awesome job making an experience. This was a sobering gameplay. Something that a lot of people can very much benefit to realize about themselves. You don't have to beat yourself up for mistakes that you make. You don't have to beat yourself up or get into some kind of downward spiral just because you didn't hit arbitrary goals. At the end of the day, everybody is either trending upwards or downwards. No matter what, no one on earth is staying in the exact same position. Nobody is plateauing and then only traveling in one direction. You are always either moving upwards just a little bit, even impossible to measure sometimes or moving down just a little bit and there's nothing wrong with going up a little so you can come down a little and vice versa this was a good message and a really really nice experience a really nice way to communicate that message thank you very much finico and thank you rob and mikey for making this i think it can resonate with a lot of people and this was a very this, this and that's it. That is game night. It seems like every night we wish was game night sometimes. I know I wish every night was game night. Uh, if I have my huge subscriber count that I want someday, then maybe that's something I'll be able to achieve. But it will always be in order to help other people as well. Uh, yeah, so the theme for the game jam was lost. And this game was about a kid who lost, in, who was lost in his own thought about playing a video game. When the night was still young, a kid decided to play a game. A game where it may change the kid's life. If you want to play this for yourself and take the alternate route, you may be able to uh, get a different ending than I did. And you don't have to play this game in the browser. You can actually download this game. That is something that I did not realize. I played it in the browser. That's always fun to do sometimes. So 
You can play it in the browser if you don't want to download it. Looks like it's about 125 megabytes for the most recent version. Uh, anyways, that's it. Game night. I'll leave a link in the description uh, if you want to go play this yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Until then.